Hey guys, welcome back to another Twinkle Tips Friday video. This is Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining me. And we have a couple things that I want to do today that is going to make a big difference for you. Hopefully, if you can see the props right here, right? You see those props, right? You see the, the I got a laptop here? Yeah. And I also have a computer right in front of me with a sequence. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this sequence, we're going to plug it into this laptop, and we're finally going to show you exactly step-by-step step what you have to do if you sequence on one computer to go and put it on another computer so you can run your show. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. So guys, what I hold in my hand right here is probably the oldest thumb drive I've ever, I've had. It's, what does it say there? It says 256 megs. This is an old one. This is a really old one. I've had it for a couple years, uh, probably since like 2004, five, something like that. But uh, in any event, what I want to do today is I want to help you get your show running on a laptop computer because you want to sequence on your desktop and take all your files and put it on the laptop. We're going to use this sequence that you see right here on the screen. I've I, It's rendered and saved and I'm going to take you through the steps exactly that you need to. So let's just get right to it. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do a couple things first. I'm going to stick this thumb drive right into my USB port. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> and uh, I am going to go over to a, I'm going to open up, here we got a um, uh, USB drive right there. So uh, I have uh, pretty much pretty much an empty thumb drive here, just a couple files in here that I found from years ago, from 2006. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the process and what I want you to know is, is that number one, what I had to do in order for this to work, we're, we had to create a network. So I have a uh, Falcon F16 V5 controller. It's sitting on the floor. That's what's running those right now, the Falcon F16 V5. It's in test mode too. It's in test mode. Um, what I had to do then was I also had to add in the visualizer, I had to put the bow in there and you can see the bow and the candy cane, right? Okay, so I had to put those in there. Okay, next I had to create a new sequence, which I have done here. I've already completed the sequence. I've already saved the sequence. Now, whenever, uh, well, if you hit render and you hit save, it's going to render now. It only took a second. Now, I'm going to hit save. You see down here at the bottom, right here, see how it says updated in 0 0.092 seconds. It says, whoop. FSEQ right there at the bottom it says we wish you a Merry Christmas dot FSEQ so X lights has created an FSEQ file for us that is the main file that we're going to need to take with us now we're also going to need the music file the mp3 file we're going to need our X lights network file and just for demonstration purposes only we're going to take the RGB effects file now what are all these files that well where are they located they're located in my uh, Twinkle Tip Friday video uh, folder here. We've got our We Wish You a Merry Christmas. We have the, uh, the, the sequence file. We're not taking the sequence file, but we're taking the FSEQ file. We're going to literally go take it and sh and and I'm going to I'm going to copy this. I mean, you can copy, uh, but if you are in Windows, you can hold the control key down and you can grab and drag it over into the folder and it'll copy it without moving it completely. It won't delete it off of your show. Now, are you, are you sure you wanna copy this file without its properties? Yes, okay. Like I said, that's the first file we need. The sequence file is the FSEQ file. The second thing we need is the MP3. Control and click and drag and go ahead and click yes again. So here's, now there's the music. Then we have the X Lights network file. These are the three files that you need. Now, only for this demo, only for this demo, I'm taking the RGB effects file, which is not needed. If you already have it over there, you will need it eventually. And the reason you will need it eventually over there is because you're going to need to configure your controllers. So we have to do the configuration on the laptop. We've got the sequence. I'm just going to move all these out of the way here. 
Whoop, well, well, I'm going to uh, come down here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to eject. And that should eject it from the system. Bam. And there it is. There's my thumb drive. Now let's go to the laptop. All right, here we are, guys. We're ready to rock and roll with our SD. Oh, this is a thumb drive. <laughs> We're ready to rock and roll with our thumb drive and our files to get X schedule running on this computer to make it run our show that's running over here. But before we do, let's kind of zip over here so you can see what's going on in the background, right? So um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our adapter. Now, I've already set up the adapter, uh, but you, you, you probably need to do that if this is your first time doing this on your show computer. Uh, so you can see I have this, this is a USB dongle that I plugged in. It has a wired connection. This network wire here runs over to the uh, uh, Falcon that is sitting behind me, the F16 V3. And you can come into your network properties and uh, your adapter settings uh, and open this up and you can verify that you have it, the network connected correctly. And what I've got here in, underneath the properties, I'm going into TCP IP version 4, you have uh, IP address of 192.168.1. That's the network I like to use. That's the default of the Falcon. And uh, I set this IP address to number one on this network for this dongle, for this adapter. And now, since the adapter is set up, I'm just going to cancel out of here and close out of here. And uh, I'm going to minimize this. Now, we're going to start, we're, I'm going to open up. And here we are with our SD card. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And hopefully it pops right up open here. Now, the first thing you're going to see is I already have a folder on my desktop. It's called Show Folder. And uh, I've, I'm going to open up a copy of that Show Folder file. And I'm going to select all of these files here. And we're going to click and drag them over into our Show Folder. So the four, the four files that we need, and I'm going to go ahead and open up X Lights here while we do this. The four files that we need are the FSEQ file, the MP3 file, and the network file. Those are the three files you need. The fourth file that you need is your RGBFX file. Now, the reason we need the RGBFX file is because we've got the, uh, the uh, Falcon running in test mode. We're going to make sure that uh, it needs configured as well, so we're going to upload the configuration as well. And once uh, X lights opens up here we're going to go in and we're going to select the controller now i know this controller is already at one uh one one dot fifty that's this ip address right here if we have selected it there you can see the little green led is on that means it can see the controller it's talking to it right now and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll upload the outputs to it okay <clears throat> you just saw a little flicker there because there you go, it's communicating. And it says Falcon upload completed. And we'll go ahead and close X Lights. That's all we needed in X Lights. And we'll go over and we'll open up uh, a browser here and we'll dial into the Falcon, which we could have done that in another way 192.168.150. Uh, and we'll go to tests. We'll turn off the test mode, bam, just like that. And let's go ahead and open up X Scheduler. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this. We have our show folder here. Now, uh, generally, generally, whenever you have your show folder set through X Lights, X Scheduler will read the, the show folder that you are uh, should be pointing at. But if by happenstance it doesn't, you can go to File and select Show Folder and X Schedule will uh, give you the option to change where your show folder is located. So we're reading the show folder, and these are the folders that X Lights created for us. We're just gonna leave this alone. I'm just gonna cancel, but that's, that's where you can go in and change it if you need to. So you can see here, this says Ethernet. That's the controller. It says 192.168.1.50, and you have playlists. Now let's build a simple playlist, and that's gonna be very easy. We'll click Add, we'll call this Bell or Bo and and Kane, and then what we'll do is we'll add an FSEQ. There's only one in there. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 
we'll click open. And now one more thing that you might want to do if you have trouble playing the correct audio, you can click this override audio here, click the browse button, and in your show folder you can select the MP3. Now by default X Lights will automatically look in your show folder to see if the MP3 is there. But the reason why you might want to manually change that is because uh, it, whenever you sequenced it on the other computer, uh, it had your other computer has a different file path. Now that different file path means that X schedule is going to try to find that location on this computer. And it's not going to find it because your file paths are different between two computers. So what you can do is you can utilize this override audio and that override audio gives you the chance to say, no, just look right here for it. I don't care what the FSEQ file says, just look right here for it. And we'll go ahead and set a schedule for this. Now let's, I'm just gonna leave this alone because it's, it's gonna play, but let's pick the time. It's 14.08, let's change our time to 14.09. And let's have the show start in like 20 seconds. I don't know. We can put all of the important stuff in here. We can put the date, which is 12, 15, 20, 23. And we can end it at 12, 15, 20, 23. But in any event, that, that's, that's extra work. But we can see it start here right now. Let's go ahead and shoot back over to the other computer. So guys, there it is. Uh, it, the, the proof's in the pudding. Um, everybody asks this question at one point or another. How do I run my show, my x Lite show, from X Schedule on a different computer? Well, this is the simple answer. You take the thumb drive, you take the specific files we talked about, we transport them over there, we do have to upload the configuration from that laptop into the show network. And once all the show has all of its controllers configured, you can literally create a schedule and play your show off of a laptop. This, this is standalone now. This, I walk away from it and I don't have to go and touch anything. Um, if I wanna make changes, I do them right here on this computer that we're looking at the screen on. And then I take the FSEQ file they take the mp3 file and I add it to that show using an SD card and it's super super easy so guys we hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give us a huge thumbs up smash the subscribe button to become a subscriber to the PPD YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications if you love content like this show us what else you need to learn what you'd like to learn by putting it in the comments below and don't forget, every Tuesday we get together in our PPD Tuesday Zoom. It's actually going to become a PPD Teams meeting starting Tuesday. Well, it's going to be Tuesday nights, every Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You're welcome to join us. Now, um, if you come in and you stay late, we, we, we turn it into PPD up all night, and it turns into a lot of fun. And you are welcome to stay for as long as you like. Guys, that's everything from me. If you appreciate the things that we're doing here at Pixel Pro Displays for you, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month, brand new to the store. We have been for the past 15 months doing two brand new sequences for the store. And we have a lot of great things, exciting things coming to you this coming year in 2024. Have a wonderful show season. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you for what you are doing for the people in your community. And we couldn't be more proud to be part of your family, part of your community, and part of your show from Pixel Pro Displays. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and thank you. Clyde here signing out. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Welcome back, guys, to another edition of Twinkle Tips Friday. This is our Twinkle Tips extra, extra, super duper. <laughs> oh, boy.